it's a given in 12 tone equal temperament that the seven letters of the natural musical alphabet are placed against the 12 points of sound in clockwise order with the following spaces between them. And if we label those spaces as qualitative intervals, qualitative seconds, A to B major second, B to C minor second, C to D major second, D to E major second, E to F minor second, F to G major second, G back to A major second. Let's get rid of the letter names and highlight the seven points of sound marked by those letters. Count the spaces between the highlighted points. Not the points of sound, but the spaces. Two spaces. One, two, two. One space, two spaces. Two spaces. Beginning on any one of these points and reading clockwise, gives a different sets of, set of numbers. If I begin here, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. Or beginning here, one, two, two, one, two, two, two. Beginning here, two, two, one, two, 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 one. Beginning on any one of the points and reading class clockwise gives a different mode or scale. Scale degrees are counted from one to seven and are labeled with a caret, C-A-R-E-T, above each that designates them as scale degrees. So if I start up here at 12 o'clock on an analog clock, this is scale degree one, move clockwise, scale degree two, three, four, five, six, seven. The caret above the number says scale degree. Or I could begin at this second point, scale degree one, two, the second highlighted point, three, four, five, six, seven. Beginning on the third highlighted point clockwise, scale degree one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 And finally, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Let's go back to the scale that started at the east compass point or three o'clock on an analog clock face. This order of major and minor seconds, major second, major second, minor second, major second, major second, major second, minor second, whole steps and half steps, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Full tones and semitones, full tone, full tone, semitone, full tone, full tone, full tone, semitone. This order is called a major scale. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Or, for our purposes, if we count the spaces, two, two, one, two, 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 one. Counting spaces between points of sound. Major scale numbers. The major scale, like all scales, is a ruler. The major scale is the most important ruler in Western music. Use lined notebook paper, lined notebook filler paper, to make your ruler. I'm going to fold at this point marked by the margin line on the back. Fold. Keep folding. Go over it with your fingernail. Back and forth till you can tear it off. And end up with a slip of paper that looks like this. Use your lined notebook paper to make this ruler. And remember the num numbers that create a major scale. Space numbers. Two spaces. Two spaces. One. Two. 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 One. Those carrots label scale degrees. Scale degree one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, back to one. On the remaining page, the page you tore this ruler from, place 27 points of sound on the intersection of the red margin line and the lines of the paper. 27 points of sound. Once you've done that, beginning at the left, label the points with the correct A through G spacing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A. Place flats, superscript right, on all of those letters. Begin at the second point from the left, up a level from the letters we just wrote. Label this A. Do the same space relationship through letters A through G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E. E, F, G, A. 
don't do anything to that set of letters. Start on the third point from the left, up another level with an A, and the same relationship between letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. All of those letters get right superscript sharps. Place your major scale ruler against this reference set of letters. Each major scale must have seven different letters in sequential order. You can't have a major scale with two of the same letter name seven different letters. Keep track of the major scales on a separate sheet of paper. So if you start at A flat, first of all I have to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. So on a separate sheet of paper, write that scale out. I'm going to start at the bottom of the page because I want to work my way up with these different possible scales. Remember the ruler said it was A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, back to A flat. Go to A. You'll find <clears throat> A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Go to your separate sheet of paper. Place that right above first scale you did, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. G sharp, A, you should start to recognize some interesting comparisons. Let's stay on the letter A. If you go to A sharp, you'll find out A sharp, B sharp, I can't skip a letter and go to D, so there's no A sharp major scale. Move to the letter B, B flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Skip a space, write that. So if you continue through this process, let's go to B, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. If you continue through that process, you'll find that you end up with the following 15 scales. Notice I've separated them by letter type, A's, B's, C's, D's, E's, F's, G's. You'll find there are 15 major scales. And if you think back to that earlier major scale chart we made, you'll find out that of these major scales, this, the scale that has only one flat, the very first flat, is this F major scale with a B flat. 
and the scale that has just one sharp is in fact this G major scale with F sharp. So we've proven why the first flat that occurs in a major scale is a B flat and the first sharp an F sharp. Major scale reference, major scale ruler.